this episode, I wanted to show you the various stages that the coffee goes through during the roasting process. In another video, I'll actually describe the entire roasting process from green to roasted at the machine, but that'll be for another episode. There are significant changes that the coffee goes through in the roasting process. It goes from a fairly dense, um, fairly more um, high in moisture bean to super low in moisture, nearly completely caramelized bean at the end. I'm gonna show you four different appearances that, that the coffee goes through during the roasting process. There are technically three stages, but I'll talk about that at another time. But this will be just a demonstration about the appearance of the coffee during the roasting. Now here are the four stages. You can see quite a bit of color difference between all four. This first one here, quite green, a little pale green. It's not bright green or anything. This is fresh coffee that has been processed, wet milled, dry milled, and exported and shipped into the United States right before we roast it. This here is what's called uh, the end of the drying phase, you could say. It's not quite dry, um, but it's getting there. It's starting to yellow. Some of the some of the green is still there, but it's largely turning yellow, as you can see. This between these two um, is kind of hard to see, but you can see just how dramatic this is. So this between this part is what's called the drying phase. This is what's called the this kind of a mysterious phase. Some some call it the ramp phase, the ramping phase. That's what I'll I'll I like to call it actually. So this is when it starts to develop. This is when it's starting to brown and caramelize, which is called the Maillard phase. A lot of other cooking uh, practices, most cooking practices, uh, are dealing with the Maillard phase when the sugars are are changing and caramelizing. Here's the finished product. So right here, this third phase is the caramelization or the Maillard phase. Now you've seen just how dramatic that, that coffee change is. Um, I hope you're able to kind of find a new appreciation for that process. Really all us roasters are trying to do is get as out of the way as possible. When that, when that coffee cherry is picked, the quality and, and once it's processed, the quality that that bean is, is all that it ever will be. We just try not to make it any less quality than it is after it's processed at the farm. 